EFCO Plastics in Wisconsin is a custom injection molder facing the challenge of having to staff round-the-clock production in fast-changing processes. A fleet of universal robots now handle a wide range of tasks such as assembly, harvesting of 3D printers, and packaging. So I was working on getting a collaborative robot for about three years before we actually got a UR robot. People were like, what, what's a collaborative robot back then? Now, you know, everybody wants a collaborative robot, but... So I was looking at other brands, and what I like about UR is just the capability, doing limited training, and uh, be able to do, you know, actually fairly complicated tasks. The primary difference between hard automation and a collaborative, universal collaborative robot is the setup time. Traditionally, it would take up to several weeks or more to automate a new project, whereas now, Universal Robot, you roll it out to the floor, you do some programming, and it can be up and running in two days. UR has really been on top of uh, improving their products as they go. They interface well with other products, and that, that was uh, very important for us. They're constantly adding new UR caps. For example, you have the Robotik force feedback sensor. It allows us to place inserts into small diameter holes. It would take a considerable amount of code to accomplish tasks like that. Whereas now, we can directly control the Cognix cameras and the Israel as a cube feeder without a PLC in line. So it's the robot controller handling and controlling the entire cell. It reduces the costs up front. You save the money for a secondary controller, but it also simplifies the entire process. We were having problems before where um, the operators would miss putting parts of the assembly together. And once the UR takes control of the part, we know we're gonna get a good part. It looks for, confirmed that there's a good weld on the part and it'll pick the part up and it takes it over to a greasing station. It applies grease to the inside of the gearbox and it will then weigh the gearbox to confirm that the grease is in there. And then from then, then we use a Cognix camera and an Asicube uh, vibratory sensor to essentially pick the parts and then hands it off for packaging. One of our UR tents is actually uh, attending a 3D print farm. Using the UR tent allows us to keep the operation running 24-7 without having designers or engineers walking back to clear the plates every time. A lot of the applications our UR robots are running on our packaging uh, applications where they'll be running right next to the mold. They might be doing some kind of quality check, whether it's either weighing the parts or using the force feedback to insert into some kind of opening to check the outside diameter. Utilizing the uh, universal robots, uh, we've been able to use one operator to run several machines concurrently, uh, which allows us a lot of flexibility in our operation. So you're running two jobs instead of one. That's very beneficial. We're a custom injection molder, so we have shorter runs. We can take the cost of that robot and spread across many different jobs because it's so easy to move job to job. The return on investment, you know, Universal Robot claims six to nine months, which I think is fairly accurate. The payback comes quite quickly that way. Workman's comp is a big deal. So, you know, um, cuts, any kind of injuries, carpal tunnel. Um, so that helps reduce that, and we actually get a lower rate on that is a huge cost savings to us. We're constantly changing our molds. We have a lot of forklift traffic, a lot of crane traffic. You need to be able to move molds in and out, and not having to put up guarding really opens up a lot of space for us. The operators, they see the UR as, as a tool. It's not caged off, it's not isolated. The operator feels you know, they're working with the robot, not you know, against it, it's taking my job. <laughs>